My name is Dalal Hanna. I'm a freshwater and landscape ecologist and PhD candidate at McGill University. I do research on rivers and all the different ways that these incredible ecosystems contribute to human well-being, or in other words, what scientists like to call riverine ecosystem services. And I'm especially interested in how we can best quantify these services so we can understand them and ensure they're sustainable and equitable provision well into the future alongside the conservation of the incredible biodiversity that's supported by rivers. One of my favorite rivers is the Kichizibi in Northern Ontario. It's located on the traditional territory of several different First Nations, including Erlen, Edmonton, and Martin Falls. I visited this river for the first time a few years back when the Matawa Education and Care Center invited me to join a program that they run on the Kijazibi. My job was to deliver science education content for the youth on this program. And when I came back from this program, something that hit me is that science education modules and activities are great, but wouldn't it be even better to do real science with the youth on these programs? A research project that I thought might be really valuable to do in this region is to collect field data about riverine ecosystem services. I thought that this is information that the nations whose traditional territory this area is on might be able to benefit from in the future to help inform land management strategies. Also, there's actually very little scientific research using field techniques to quantify riverine ecosystem services. And so this type of research is urgently needed to improve understanding of the different ways that rivers contribute to human well-being. And so, when I saw the message about the W. Garfield Weston Foundation Fellowship, I thought, why not combine these two ideas? Why not conduct a baseline assessment of riverine ecosystem services with youth from the Matawa Education and Care Center program? Our first step was to figure out which ecosystem services were the most relevant to measure during our time on the river and what the best ways were to measure them. We decided that over the course of our 185 kilometer 10 day expedition on the Kichizibi River, we'd not only do a lot of paddling, but also collect information about six ecosystem services. We collected information about water quality at the campsites that we stayed at on the river. We documented all the different edible foods that we found over the course of our journey. We collected tissue samples from the fish we caught to document their quality. We measured trees along the riverbank to determine the amount of carbon that they store. We inventoried the beaver population, which local trappers benefit from. And finally, we recorded information about each of the campsites that we stayed at over the course of our 10-day expedition. When we returned from our expedition, we sent all of the different samples that we collected to the Lakehead University Environmental Science Laboratory to have them analyzed. A few months later, we came together again as a group to learn how to interpret the data from our expedition and to write a report about all of our different findings. This report, which talks about the program and shares the findings of our baseline assessment of riverine ecosystem services, is now being presented to the different First Nations that we collaborated with. I made this short video to say thank you to the W. Garfield Weston Foundation Fellowship Program for making this project possible. With your support, we were able to conduct a baseline assessment of riverine ecosystem services on the Kichizibi River in Northern Ontario. This is a region that is experiencing rapid change. This is an example of what that change looks like, taken from a Financial Post publication. With these changes and these big projects, it's really important that the First Nations communities whose territories this area is on know about the status of their ecosystems and have information about them. And so, thanks to this project, we were able to conduct this baseline assessment about riverine ecosystem services to relay information back to the First Nations who we collaborated with, to share scientific knowledge with different Matawa First Nations youth and engage them in the scientific process. And moving forward, I'm planning on working on a few different publications, one that will provide guidelines to all of the academic community on how to conduct field assessments of riverine ecosystem services, as well as another that discusses this educational program that we built that we turned into a grade 11 environmental science credit. I want to leave you now with a short video um, of one of the youth that participated in the program this summer singing along the river. I asked him if he was willing for me to share it as part of this video and he said he'd be thrilled to have you see it. So here you have it. Thank you again. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh.
doing some uh, measuring here, some scientist stuff. It's fun. Alright ladies, how are you feeling about the trip so far? I'm feeling good about the trip. It's awesome. It's awesome? Yeah. What about you, Kiara? Yeah. 